Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting session where you're going to find out the best laptop for machine learning. Now with the rise in machine learning and deep learning in every sector and by every sector I literally mean every sector of the industry be it a well-known multinational corporation or any startup the need for machine learning is there and companies usually don't pay much attention to the fact that any normal laptop that is being used by the software developers or the people from support or finance are not suitable for machine learning. So let's get started to find out the best laptop for machine learning. Now before we move forward, how about you hit the bell icon to get subscribed to this Edreka channel and to get more content on the trending technologies. Now to find the best laptop for machine learning or deep learning, portability is one of the key factors that anyone looks for in a laptop. Otherwise, if portability is not the issue, then you can go for any custom PC, which I'll discuss in the later part of this video. Now, one thing to note here is that the higher the processing power, the heavier is the laptop. Now, this can mean a lot of things. More RAM leads to more weight. If you have more battery, then it also leads to more weight. And if you have a larger screen laptop, then again, your laptop is bulky. And moreover, higher the power, lower is the battery life. So then again, you're stuck here. So portability is one of the key issues when people tend to buy a laptop which is specifically designed for any purposes. Before buying the best laptop for machine learning, you must have a look at the minimum requirements. So this can be also useful if you are building a custom PC. If we talk about RAM, a minimum of 16 GB is required, but I would advise you to get 32 GB RAM because training any algorithm will require some heavy lifting and less than 16 GB can cause problems while multitasking. Now if we talk about the CPU or the processors, so anything above Intel Core i7 7th generation is advised and it is more powerful and delivers high performance. You can go for the i7 9th generation also which is the most trending one but then again it depends on your budget. But a minimum of Core i7 7th generation is advised. Now if we talk about GPU, this is one of the most important aspects of machine learning and deep learning which requires neural networks to work and which are basically computationally expensive. So working on images or videos may require heavy amounts of matrix calculation and the GPUs enable parallel processing of these matrices. Without GPU, the process might take days or even months. But with a good GPU, your best laptop for machine learning can perform the same task in hours. So NVIDIA, the leading company for graphics, has started making the GeForce 10 series for laptop as well. And these are one of the best GPUs to work with. You just need to select the one which suits your price range, although they have the RTX 2000 series also, which is on the higher end of the price. But then again, the performance is also good. You can also go for AMD, which is another company which provides the graphics, the GPU. So AMD Radeon is basically something you should go for. And if we talk about the storage, minimum of one TB of hard disk is required as the data sets now tend to get even larger and larger by the day. And you have a system with SSD, a minimum of 256 TB is advised. But then again, if you have less storage, you can opt for cloud as well. There you can get machines with higher GPUs, you can customize it and all. Now if we talk about the operating system, mostly people go for Linux, but Windows and Mac OS can both run virtual Linux environments. So you can go for any of the systems. That's not an issue. If we talk about the best laptops for machine learning, there are a lot of laptops for machine learning. So the first one in our list, what I'm going to talk about, there are a few, but let's talk about the few we have here. So first of all, I'm going to discuss about the TensorBook. So the TensorBook by Lambda Labs would be my number one choice when it comes to machine learning and deep learning purposes as this laptop is specifically designed for this purpose. So when you go to their website, you can see they have three laptops. We have the first one, which is the basic one, which has the 16 inch display RTX 2070 8GB VRAM. We have the Intel i7 processor, 16GB RAM, 500GB SSD, and plus you're getting one year warranty. This one is the base one. In the premium one, you get the 32 GB RAM. We have the 1 TB SSD. And in the max, you get 32 GB RAM with 1 TB SSD. And again, the GPU is changed. It's RTX 2080. Now, one of the key features is that 
you can easily upgrade tensorflow pytorch or many of the deep learning libraries just with the help of the apt get upgrade command these are all pre-installed in the laptop and it has been specifically designed for the deep learning purposes apple macbook is also a great option if you are going for it so the apple macbook pro the 15 inch model which i'm talking about there are two variants we can go for the second one or the first one it depends upon your price range so as you can see here we have the 2.6 gigahertz 6 core 9th generation intel core i7 processor this one is the latest one as of now and you can turbo boost it up to 4.5 gigahertz so it comes with a radeon pro 555x which 4 gb of gddr5 memory we have 16 gb ram 256 gb ssd and then again one of the best thing about this laptop is the display the retina display is out of the world another thing to keep in mind here is that the lambda labs the tensorbook by lambda labs and macbook are somewhat on the higher end of the price range there are a lot of other laptops which you can go for you have the asus rog zephyrus s so as you can see here we have the laptop itself and the laptop looks gorgeous you can see the design aspect mostly these laptops are meant for gaming that's why they have the amazing gpus the ram and all but if you are working in machine learning and deep learning there's not much difference between the gaming laptop and the laptop which you're using so as you can see here we have 240 hertz refresh rate now if we talk about the specs you can see it has the windows 10 pro os it has the nvidia geforce rtx 2080 6 core core i7 1 tb ssd and again it has ddr4 memory it has one of the best gpus in the market which is the rtx 2080 and there can be other laptops as well from dell suppose you have the dell xps 15 you have the razor blade 15 these are all 15 inch laptops which are great for gaming and great for machine learning purposes you have the dell alienware which was one of the first companies to make those high graphics laptops but then again if laptops not your thing you can go for a custom pc so if portability is not an issue you can build a custom pc and there are a lot of places where you can build a custom pcs so here's one which i found online which is quite a good website it is the i buy power now this company specifically designs pcs and custom pcs as per your request as you can see here we have the gaming rdy series we have the element prime daily deal so as you can see here it is much more cheaper than any laptop but then again you can configure it and customize it according to your needs you can select the type of operating system you want the type of gpu you want the memory you want the hard disk type you want and it can range from anywhere around 800 dollars to 2000 dollars at the max so as you can see here we have so many custom pcs and then again these come with a lot of accessories which are the gaming accessories like the gaming mouse and the gaming keyboard and the amazing displays but then again you don't need all of that you can cut down on that aspect if you want going for a custom pc now you can also use the cloud support for gpu if you don't want to spend a lot of money so here you can go for either aws or microsoft azure and azure is cheaper and better in some ways than aws for analytical purposes but i would advise you to save money and buy the gpu as it will be cheaper for the long run so guys with this we come to an end of the quest for finding the best laptop for machine learning i hope you have made up your mind on which laptop you're gonna buying and i have mentioned the details of a lot of laptops which are available in the description box below you can check all of these we have a lot of laptop from asus dell we have alienware we have msi we have apple then again we have the tensorbook which is specifically designed for this purpose so guys that's it from my end and if you have any questions regarding this video or any other video please feel free to mention it in the comment section below till then thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest 
do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!